Hello! Hi. And welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're telling the story of Matt and Joe. <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. Wow, that is the origin, ambitious. The origin story. Welcome <laughs> to an hour and 45 minute video. It'll be broken up into six parts. No, Matt's no. got this. Mm. I'm going to speed oh, him no. through. You know I'll just start and then I'll add a lot of detail and then... Yeah, and then you gotta be like, this is terrible. Like what you're doing right now? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's like, that's a perfect example. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and lead the way then. Matt and I met when I was 15. Wow. And you were 16. Really? Yeah. We met at a high school soccer game. I went with friends and not long after that soccer game, um, one of my best friends at the time started dating you. Yeah. Yeah, so she uh, she spotted Matt at the soccer game was really into him and uh, they started dating and that is how Matt and I became friends <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, friends. Yeah, we were friends. We were. No, I know. For That's... an entire year. Yeah. That friend and you broke up. Yep. Then after you guys broke up, I turned 16. Yep. And you turned 17. Wow. And about six months after that, we went on our first date. We did. December 1st, 2009. Yep. Big deal. That sounds correct. What did you take me to go do? Uh, we went and saw The Blind Side. Yeah, but it was a good date. And then yeah. um, we kept dating. For ever. A long time. Through college. I, I decided to go to Arkansas. And yeah. And... and then I decided I was absolutely not going to the University of Arkansas because I would not be the girl that followed her boyfriend to college. Mission accomplished. Um, <laughs> but I really wanted to follow him to college. And so I did it. This is the part that everybody always asks us about. And the reason that we're making this video is so that we can tell you all about... Our breakups. Our breakups. Everybody wants to know. Yeah. So we're going to fill you in. Um, we broke up for the first time my sophomore, sophomore year of college? Your junior sophomore. year of college? Yeah. Is that right? Somewhere in there. I think it was the summer between... Oh, it was summertime. We didn't break up for very long the no. first time. And honestly, looking back, it's hard for me to even qualify it as a breakup because we didn't stop talking to each other. No, we were both always still around. So. Yeah, we didn't stop talking to each other or seeing each other. We just... <laughs> um, we weren't dating. We were dating one another and dating other people for a few months. <laughs> we just said we weren't dating and we kind of were, so... Yeah, then we got back together. But really, to me, <laughs> like we dated from 2009 to 2014. Like, I don't, because yeah. that was only like a two and a half month period. We were just in different stages. And like yeah. in college for us, we didn't hang out much. Uh, like we no. went on dates and we saw each other, but we didn't share friend groups. No, no. Different classes, completely different sides. I, I never saw you on campus. You I never, never saw, saw me on campus, campus. Um, which is hard to do in four years of college, but we did it. Yeah. Um, math degrees in chemical engineering and mines in business and the two sections of campus are not near each other so yeah we no didn't run close. into each other but then got back together and everything was good um, Matt graduated in May of 2014 I did and in June of 2014 he got a job in st. Louis yeah yeah I started that job what in August Yep, you started your job yeah. in August. Because you you went up, you actually went with me to the interview in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. got, got a job. Got the job. Moved so to that St. Was good. Louis, and we dated for a few months, long distance. Uh, yeah, almost six, almost six months. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, August, December. And August and December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matt was very much in that phase <laughs> of life where you get out of school and you're transitioning into a full-time job and I was still a student yeah and I was like living it up my senior year of college I got a puppy yeah no you were still was, having you were having a great time I was thriving you were having the time of your life as you should um, um and I was having you know like the bottom six months of my adult life so that was pretty tight because I'd moved to a new city and I'd started a new job and I was having to figure out how to be an adult and anyone who's 21 22 23 in the same phase of life probably knows what I'm talking about but you're just trying to survive and you're going to work and you're coming home and you're and your going... girlfriend's calling about how much fun she's having yeah and then she's <laughs> gonna call you at about 12 30 at night and you're gonna be like oh I'm so happy to talk to you and then she's gonna be like you don't seem that happy to talk to me and, and then... I'm not happy about it and you're like I'm not that happy to be talking to you and uh, that doesn't really work in a relationship so that kind of didn't pan out. 
Yeah. Um, so we went different directions. Yeah. And it, very different directions. Very understandably. Then we broke up, broke up, didn't talk, didn't see each other. Unfriended each other on all forms of social media. Yeah. In the year we were broken up, I dated other people. I you dated other people. Dated other people. Yeah. Um, a few, nothing like panned out with me. <laughs> I obviously I didn't date anybody me. for more than a few months. Um, I don't think I dated anybody for more than like a week or two. <laughs> <laughs> and then I spent the rest of that year single and I remember calling my sister. I spent most of that year single with well, like a few dates in between. I remember calling my sister and being so upset because all of my friends, I was, that was right around the time all my friends started to get engaged. Oh, and yeah. I like I had no inkling or idea like when Matt and I broke up it wasn't like oh maybe one day we'll reconnect and we'll no. get back together this was no, like we tried that bye before. see ya like have a great life truly yeah, I heard, no, I I heard mean, a, the only thing I heard about you that entire year we had a couple of mutual friends and that was about the and, only and, way we and it ever wasn't heard even anything mutual about friends we had I had a close friend and he had a friend who were dating Sis. And but then, one thing did make it back to me what made it back you got held up at gunpoint on Father's Day. Ah, I did get held up at gunpoint on Father's Day, but we can't get into that story because I will take forever again. Yeah, so if you guys want us to do a roundup of just crazy things that have happened, maybe that's... Matt's time in St. Louis. <laughs> I talked to my sister in 2014. I remember calling her. It was after I'd been single for a few months, which I guess really, looking back, wasn't that long, but at the time, felt really long. Yeah. A lot of my friends were getting engaged, and I didn't have any sense of like Matt and I were gonna reconnect like no you weren't on my and, and so I was like I have to meet a, a whole new guy well and you were finishing up school at this point too I'd finished school yeah so you were yeah. graduating you were starting and this I was phase starting of life the phase of life that you had been you're like in. oh crap like I have to like nobody's gonna tell me what to do and if I don't do it it just won't happen I had my first full-time job I was working and I called my sister just in tears because I was like all my friends are getting engaged they're getting married and I I am not even getting asked on a date. Like, am I gonna be okay? And my sister started dying laughing on the other end of the phone. She was pregnant. And she was like, there will be a day someday that you're married, maybe with kids, maybe not, where you just pray that you get a night alone to just watch Netflix and hang out. She's like, embrace it just like I would embrace that alone time right now. And that conversation with her was pivotal and life-changing for me. It sounds kind of silly, but after that I was like, all right, I'm just gonna ride it out. Like, I am single, I am hanging out by myself, I'm gonna focus on my business, I am gonna focus on my job, I'm gonna do photography, like all this stuff. And I just went after that, and so I was, working like crazy 2014 we break up i'm mega sad for like two months you got really close um, with your mom yes it did you mended relationships with your parents it did help me make better relationships with my parents who prior to that i didn't spend a lot of time talking to so uh, not not that i didn't talk to them but just we weren't i didn't really tell them a lot about my life so when i had to tell them about the breakup it kind of uh made me realize how important family and friends are. So I spent a lot of time talking with my family and a lot of time talking with my friends. And I was like, oh, okay, I like these people. I should probably like foster invest. these relationships and invest in these relationships, which I wasn't doing in our relationship either. So that was a big part of why we broke up. So, so I threw myself into work and uh, realized I'd probably put on like 25 pounds of bad weight in the six months that I'd moved to- oh, I uh, forgot to uh, St. Louis. I wasn't so, even gonna hit this part of the story, but it's important. Yeah, no, so then I just spent the next six to eight months working out like six times a week because I had nothing to do and all I was doing was traveling for work and coming home and- uh, Running to the gym. I'd run to the gym that was seven blocks down the road and I'd go work out and I would run home and I would eat like the same dinner every single night and then- He uh, got wildly in shape, y'all. Yeah, I mean, for someone who had never been in shape, I I got in very different shape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did. So, uh... I believe my it was dad, October. Yeah, my dad had an accident, um, fall 2015, I guess it was, right? 2014. 14, still 2014. Hard with the whole year, it felt like a long time. Anyway, my, my dad had an accident in, like, fall of 2014. Um... 
and he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And so my family's still in the Springfield area. So, which is where, which is where we're her both family from. is. Um, and growing up, like I, I mentioned earlier that I didn't talk a lot with my parents. Um, her parents always encouraged, one, for me to talk to my parents about stuff, and two, um, we're, a, we're almost a second set of parents for me that I, I felt comfortable. It was always a very safe space. Yeah, it was not something that my parents weren't doing, but it was something that I wasn't letting my parents do, and they felt more comfortable. Um, so... And we dated for... Yeah, year, at this point they'd known years. me years and years and years, and they'd known me since I was 17 years old. And uh, her mom also deals with chronic illness. So uh, while I was in Springfield, I stopped by and said, hey. Um, well, you texted my mom and asked if you could stop by. And you had some of my stuff that you dropped by, too. Yeah, I think I just invented that to oh, see okay. them. But, I mean, I, I had stuff. <laughs> it was just a bag of, like, random. Like, it wasn't anything you were looking for, I promise. <laughs> so anyway, I did that and was like, hey, my dad was diagnosed with this. Like, I don't need anything. I just wanted to let you guys know. Um... And I know you guys have dealt with this, so just got some of that off my chest. And then I went back home, and your mom told you. Right? Yeah, um, not for a while. <laughs> no. My mom told me around Thanksgiving. She was like, oh, by the way, I meant to tell you this. I'm sorry if you found out another way. And my mom said, hey, by the way, um, Matt stopped by the house last month and dropped off a bag of stuff for you. Um, and just so you know, I don't know if you've heard, but his dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yeah. And on December 1st, yep. um, I don't know what was going on. I think Amy, my roommate at the time who was dating the friend yeah. had, um, said, told me a story or something that you were in, loosely involved in and just remind me, I was like, oh, I should shoot him a text. I said to her, you know, I, I want him to know that if he needs anything, like I've got him. Yeah. And so I sent you a text and the reason December 1st is important is our first date was on December 1st, 2009 and on December 1st, 2014, I texted you, which was not like a purposeful or like an intentional thing or something I would have remembered. No, it, but I remember and it has been important to me. I sent him a text just saying, Hey, um, heard about your dad. Sorry about how everything went down a year ago. You know, mm -hmm. sorry, we haven't talked in a year. Um, Hope everything's good. If you need anything, let me know. Um, if you're ever in Northwest Arkansas and want to grab coffee, you know. Like I yeah. said it as a very nonchalant, like, oh, he'll mm -hmm. never. And I did. It was polite. <laughs> yeah, no, it was polite. And you were like, oh, thanks, you know. Like, yeah, because I, I would still go down to Northwest Arkansas. To visit friends. Probably once a month or so. Yeah, you sent me that and I was like, okay, thanks, cool. You were nice. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, no, like, I, wasn't, I wasn't mean. I was just like, okay. You were super yeah. nice. Yeah, no, appreciate you saying that. Not a big deal. And you're like, yeah, if I'm ever in Northwest Arkansas, I'll text you. Yeah. And this is where alcohol gets involved in the story. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> then New Year's comes around. New Year's comes around. And um, I got home from New Year's, the thing I was at. I went to an event with friends. Yeah. And my roommate went out with her boyfriend and his group of friends. And we both got back at like two in the morning and we were sitting talking and she's like telling me all the stories from the night. Everybody's had a lot to drink and by everybody, I mean her and I. And um, she is like, well, blah, 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 blah. And then Matt and I said, oh, Matt's in town? I was like, he didn't even text me. We're supposed to get coffee. Yeah. And he's not texted me. This is a good drunk impression of that's, yourself. I feel like that's yeah, kind of how I am, on, isn't actually. it? Okay. Yeah. Um, and at like two in the morning, I sent you a text and I was like, what the heck? You're in town. I thought we were going to get coffee. Or like, I thought, like, I thought yeah. you were going to text me or something like that. <laughs> and I woke up in the morning. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, I did what? No, that's bad. Um, and you ended up texting me back. Yeah. Not until Some, way later. Probably though. like noon. Or Matt texted me around like one the next day. Yeah. And um, was like, oh, well, I'm in town. Do you still want to get together? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, sure. Well, I was thinking coffee, but I'm actually out at this bar. I sound like I went out a ton, but I really didn't. On New Year's Day, be at a bar with a photographer I had just met, friend, girlfriend. Yeah. Who had asked if we could go grab a drink and just hang out. 
and I was like, I'm at this bar, no one's, no one's here. I must have responded much later then. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't respond to your text. Oh, like, you texted okay, me back okay. at one, and then I was like, okay, I gotta act real casual about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I like, and I didn't even know if I was going to text you back. I forget about back. these games that you play when you're doing this. I was trying to decide if I was going to respond. Yeah. So I was at that bar with the friend, the friend was like, I think you should text him. Like, I think you should see him, whatever. She's like, just have him come here. I'm here, if it's weird, um, you know, I can I can stay. If it's not weird, I'll go. So, so he walked I was, in. I was a very different shape than she'd last seen me. Yeah, and he doesn't post on social media, so he no. walked in. He's like twice the size he was the last I, time I saw him. I think I had probably lost 20 and gained 20 pounds back. He was like, who? Yeah. My Saint friend Louis. being like, this is not who you described. <laughs> that's not what, I'm like, that's not what I was expecting either. So yeah. this is very exciting. <laughs> um, and you've grown out your hair, not long, long. No, just a little bit. But it was bit. just a little bit longer little than it longer. had been. You had your little curls and everything. And um, yeah, my friend left. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> and we spent the whole weekend together and now we're married. Yeah, yeah, we spent the next uh, couple months not dating again, kind of like how we not dated in college. Yeah. Um, told people we weren't dating. Well, we were Absolutely nervous. Absolutely were. To confirm that we were dating to ourselves, because like if, yeah. we were like, if we start dating again, that means we're getting married. Yeah, that was kind of the thought, it, and that was even something I think I talked to my parents about. Like, yeah, if we get back together, like, it's for real this time. We didn't go public with it until Thanksgiving. It was that long? Yeah, I mean, we told our family our in the knew. summer. Yeah. Our, like, our families knew yeah. in the summer. And then at Thanksgiving, we went, like, public, public. We got engaged That's a year it. later. Yep. And, no, uh, we got engaged two years later. Yeah. Well, because it took me almost two years to get back to... Yeah, after about... Northwest um, Arkansas. After we went public, Matt decided he was going to move to Northwest Arkansas. Um, where I was yeah. and we bought our first home together and then we got engaged. We got engaged then bought our first home together. Yep. Um, and then two years after that we got married. Yeah. And two years after that we're having a baby! Yeah. So that's, uh, that's the gist of it. That's the very long version. So if you're here because you asked this question on TikTok you. Live or Instagram Live, you made it. Yeah. Um, if you guys want us to do a Q&A on this topic, like if you have specific questions yeah. you want us to answer, we could definitely do a video like that because I know there will probably be yeah. questions or things that we're not thinking of that you guys might want to know. Or what did you do about that and yeah. all this stuff. And we'd be happy to answer those. For so sure. send us all of your questions like that um, or let us know if you want us to do that and we can do a Q&A box on some form of social yeah, media. We'll, we'll figure it out. And uh, otherwise, keep an eye out because next week's video I'm really excited about. Um, it's with my best friend who is also pregnant five weeks behind me. Um, and so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And subscribe if you don't already subscribe to our channel. <laughs> down there, notifications on, all that good stuff. Yep. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye.